Hey guys, this is Dr. Mobeen. We are talking about immunology. Our today's lecture is type 3 hypersensitivity reactions. And in this one, this is very important uh, lecture and many USMLE questions and of course many uh, concepts that are important for the practicing doctors are present here. We will talk about all of those. So let us start with the definition of the type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. So you can actually remember type 3 from three things involved in this reaction. What happens is that there are antigen, antigen plus antibody complexes, antigen plus antibody complexes present freely in, in the blood circulation and in body tissues. So this is the free floating antigen antibody complexes. What is the third thing in that? Once these complexes form, then the complement will become activated as well. So normally you can actually say that um, if this is the antibody, this is an immunoglobulin connected with an antigen. So let us say this is these are the antigens connected with some antigen and then what happens is I think we have talked about it in the past. Once an immunoglobulin, once an antibody combines with an antigen, binds with an antigen that causes conformational change because it is a protein causes conformational change and what happens is that the the sites for complement fixation on the FC side of the antibody, these become revealed. These complement fixation sites then allow complement to be attached here. So C1 and then other complement factors, they get attached and activated, right. So C, C3A will be formed, C5A will be formed, membrane attack complexes will be formed. So com complement activation, fixation and activation would occur. So in this case you can see that we have an antibody, antibody, we have antigen that is this, this complex with the complement is present freely in the body tissues. Now wherever there is complement, what happens is there is complement activation and one important part of the activated complement is one fragment is C5A which is chemotactic for neutrophils. A for arrival, it asks for the arrival of the cells, which cells? The cells which have 5 lobes that are neutrophils. So it is a chemotactic factor for the neutrophils. So if I make neutrophils here, there are, this is the 5 lobed neutrophil. So neutrophils will arrive in this area. So where, where will the neutrophils will be? Wherever this complex is present. Normally what happen, happens is it is tumbling around in the blood circulation. It enters the tissue as well in the tissue fluids. Then it settles down on mostly the membranes. For example, kidney is very important. Then the um, arthritis is caused by the settling down of these things on the uh, joint membranes as well. So we will talk about that more, but wherever this complex is present, wherever the complement is fixed, that is where the neutrophils are going to come. This is the inflammation reaction. So this is really antigen antibody complex giving rise to inflammation that inflammatory cells that come over there as part of the reaction now cause degranulation. So let us say these are the granules in the neutrophil. So once a neutrophil degranules, granulates and releases the granules, mostly these are lysosomal, lysosomal enzymes. So these enzymes that have come out of the neutrophil, these will cause damage to the local tissue. Whatever that tissue is, mostly the glomerular membranes, then the joint membranes, blood vessels or wherever else these things deposit. Now the cells, wherever these lysosomal enzyme would go, these cells would start breaking down and 